Pulse Chain is an upcoming hard fork of the Ethereum blockchain, and that seems like major news, right? Especially since approximately $700 million has been committed to Pulse Chain, with more than 40,000 participants to get a larger airdrop of the future native token. Additionally, the Pulse Chain site claims it will be better than Ethereum. However, many detractors argue it is another scam put on by Richard Hart, aka Richard J. Schuler, the man behind the Hex token. Since you likely have tokens on Ethereum, you will automatically receive tokens on Pulse Chain from the hard fork. Therefore, whether you have never heard of the upcoming fork, you worship at the Richard Hart altar, or you think it is another elaborate scam from the man, let's dive in and do a little analysis. Hi Cryptopreneurs, what is your favorite crypto? Let us know in the comments. If you like making crazy money with crypto, this is the place for you. Here, we explore new gems and explain the best, new, tiny, undervalued cryptos with 100x or even 1000x potential. We'll also find all the news of the crypto space every single day, so make sure to subscribe and activate notifications for all the upcoming videos. Follow us on our social channels and join as members for added perks. Now, let's get started. There is a growing number of voices that are pointing out concerns with the new fork. These arguments tend to be focused on the founder, Richard Hart. They point out issues with the sacrifice phase, and some potentially questionable transactions with Hex, Richard's first crypto project. The common theme across the concerns is, how much money ends up with the founder Richard Hart? In the summer of 2021, there was a period where users could sacrifice ERC-20 tokens. Depending on the amount and timing of the sacrifice, you would get a multiplier on the PLS tokens you would receive after the fork. The larger and earlier in the period you sacrifice, the larger the multiplier. People have questioned what the sacrifice wallet was for and suspect it is just a personal wallet of the founder Richard Hart. Additionally, at the time of the fork, there will be no value to the PLS token. So, users are sacrificing a known value for a valueless token. We were unable to find any indication that the sacrifice tokens were going to be used to provide liquidity or value to the new chain. This has to lead to questions if the sacrifice is just a big payday for Richard himself. However, note that users could sacrifice to SENS.org, an organization researching ways to fight age-related diseases. Donating descends instead of Richard gave 25% less benefit to the user, even with the slightly lower amount. $25 million was raised for the organization. The Pulse Chain Sacrifice Wallet looks to have nearly $200 million in it. Even more incredibly, the Pulse X Sacrifice is claiming to have nearly $1 billion. Yes, this means $1.2 billion just got sacrificed to what is speculated to be Richard Hart's personal wallet if these numbers are accurate. Of course, these are just rumors, none of this is proven. And so far, all indications are that Pulse Chain is a real project in development. It would be a real shame if this were a scam because Pulse Chain's innovations will revolutionize the entire crypto space. The Pulse Chain sacrifice phase rumor is not the only one that has raised suspicion. Even the launch of Hex has long raised suspicions about Richard Hart. Richard Hart's previous project was the Hex token. It is a highly marketed token that compares itself to an extremely high yielding certificate of deposits. There was a similar donation event at the beginning of the Hex initial coin offering. Users could donate ETH to a wallet and receive HEX tokens. However, they could not swap back HEX for ETH with the same wallet. Again, the suspicion is this wallet is Richard's, and he was able to just keep the ETH and exchange a valueless newly minted token. The origin address was drained of all the ETH. Months later, each of the 36 transactions was for 1,337 ETH each. People have pointed out 1337 is old hacker slang. For leet or elite, this lead to charges of Richard, mocking the people he just raised money from. Additionally, there were charges that Richard was taking ETH from the Origin wallet and sending it back through the donation process. This would result in him minting Hex for himself and having the ETH land right back in his wallet. If you take 100 ETH from the donation wallet and send it back to a secondary wallet to donate it again, the end result is your secondary wallets getting airdropped Hex, while you still have all the ETH in the donation wallet anyone who held Bitcoin, was also able to claim free Hex, and then new users received large bonuses for referring others and bringing them into the ecosystem. 
this lead to a handful of affiliate type sites popping up to get new users. To purchase Hex, and both would get a percent of the purchase in bonus Hex. Airdrops and Chili marketing are fairly part for the course for many coins trying to grow a user base. That isn't necessarily a huge concern. However, people have pointed out that, for every Hex minted from the BTC claim and the referral program, there was a duplicate minted and sent to the Origin wallet. Basically, the charge is that, Richard was minting 50% of all payouts for himself. Now, as we have just said, this is nothing more than a rumor. On the other hand, the Hex site has an entire page dedicated to debunking the claim it's a scam. It has a bit of the feel of the protest too much, and unfortunately, only hits on the surface level complaints. Most of the answers are deflections too. For instance, it's unbacked is answered with a generalized. Technically nothing has value, except what others are willing to pay for it answer. None of the serious charges about Richard Hart's huge windfall from Hex is addressed on the page, nor are the questionable tokenomics mentioned. Hex's website claims 40% APR, but only a 3.69% inflation rate, with very little revenue coming in from the above two fees. The only way this works is if a massive amount of token holders aren't staking their coins. Sleuths have estimated Richard's Hex token ownership to be almost 90% of the total supply. This is based on the origin address, allocating similar amounts to hundreds of separate addresses. All the Hex in these wallets remains unstaked. Conveniently, having 90% of the supply unstaked allows the 3.69% inflation to be spread across the remaining 10% of staked tokens, creating about 40% APR. Hex also encourages users to lock up their tokens for longer to receive bonuses. The longest lockup is 15 years, or basically infinity in crypto terms, which leads people to say that. This certainly helps with limiting payouts in the near term. That's not all. Even Pulse Chain's lack of details makes some people think that Pulse Chain is a scam. As of now, the majority of what we know of Pulse Chain is, number one, it is a hard fork of Ethereum. Number two, we will have a Uniswap-like automated market maker AMM called PulseX. Number three, there will be the ability to bridge between main and ETH and Pulse Chain. Details on the new fork chain do seem to be sparse, and the ones that are out there seem to be created by the community. Note that many of the hexagons are driving the Pulse Chain community sites. However, many of the community sites don't seem to have much more details than the heavy marketing that is shown on the Pulse site. So far, the Pulse Chain and PulseX launches seem to be mirroring Hex's launch. Hence, the heavy focus on the concerns that have been raised with Hex. Despite all the questions raised above, Hex has made a lot of people big money. The coin is up tremendously since its launch. Regardless of everything above, there is a rabid community of Richard Hart supporters. Pulse Chain and PulseX could gain traction and become a successful side chains. There are alternative chains right now as well that have massive market caps despite not even working, and ghost chains out there with a value despite being abandoned. If Pulse Chain can find support, this hard fork could create value for a lot of people. However, there seem to be a lot of questions that remain about where the large amounts of money being sacrificed are going and why they are needed. Now, do you think Pulse Chain is a scam? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. And if you are new to the Pulse ecosystem and want to know more about the Pulse Chain, Hex or PulseX, we have curated a huge playlist with all possible questions in people's minds. It has more than 140 videos as of now. Go check them out for more detailed information on this ecosystem. The link is in the description. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur. Get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.